the trip was a phenomenal experience for everybody involved. Uh, it was a combination of academic, sightseeing, uh, basketball. We had coaching clinics. We attended a church service. We had uh, some missionaries uh, speak to our team. We had professional coaches speak to our team and uh, learned a little bit of French to boot. Uh, you, you know, having limited practices and uh, uh, limited opportunities to kind of prepare the team, um, you don't have everything in. You don't feel real comfortable with everything that you're doing, but at the same time, uh, I thought our team played hard. We played six games in seven days, which that in itself was difficult. Uh, I thought that uh, we, we got some, uh, I think, good performances from guys who, uh, uh, you know, had a little question mark beside their name heading into the year. John Caleb Sanders played really well in spots. And, you know, last year was an up and down year as a freshman, like most freshman experience. Uh, Shane Phillips played really well uh, in spots as well. and. Uh, both those guys show great experience, uh, improvement over a year ago with uh, a year under their belts. Uh, Antoine Burris played well in spots, uh, uh, continues to improve. Uh, I think some of the newer guys, Tavares Speaks, uh, had some really good moments. I think he's going to help us. Hart Gleeman had some good moments. But I think our team, as you look at it, and you were there, uh, when, you, uh, when you see our team play, is going to be Jesse and JB and, and David Manaya who are going to get uh, a lot of the shots, a lot of the opportunities, a lot of the minutes, and uh, they'll take us where we're going to go. And I think uh, that's the mark of a lot of good teams. You've got to have senior players who uh, are experienced, who are good, who know the league, and uh, kind of take the challenge at hand. Uh, how excited you are like? you to be able to start the season with this group of guys? Oh, it, it's uh, uh, we're, we're, we're ahead of the game. We're we're probably a month ahead of where we would be. Does that mean that we're going to win every game? And No, but it means that we have a chance to move forward quicker than other people. And uh, uh, I, I like that. I like this team. I, I like the team uh, going into the year. And now uh, a lot of things have been revealed that I think uh, we've got a chance to be really good. I think uh, uh, we've got more depth. We've got uh, more experience. We've got a little bit more firepower, more athleticism than we had. Uh, we'll see if we can fit it all together because this was a good step in that direction. How does the European game differ from the American game for basketball? Uh, uh, officiating is much softer. Uh, <laughs> the last game, really frustrating. Um, and then there's a, they'll give you an extra step on, on a drive. Um, also, when you catch the ball in transition, you have to put the ball down immediately. So we have probably three or four times a game where we just get exposed due to differences in the American and European game. For the most part, we were fine, except in the last game, kind of got we we were trying to play more physical than the rest were allowing. Um, but I, I enjoyed the style of play. The the, the floor is spaced. We played uh, very high paced all the games. So I think we were scoring um, a lot of points. Our offense really flowed well. We got the ball in transition, and we connected more from guards to post than I think we ever have. Um, well, Joel, Antoine especially, um, JB was getting out of transition. We did more off the ball screen, finishing at the rim with the bigs than we've ever done. So that was encouraging to see um, this, early, this early in the season. I think it's something we can't replicate. Um, we were put in such a different situation than we're, than we're used to. It was, it was out of our comfort zone. Uh, you know, you're going around walking around downtown Brussels and People may or may not speak English. They may be speaking German, French, Dutch. You have no idea. So, so it's, it's, it's a new experience that you're getting in when we're doing it together. You know, our whole team hung out as a group. Uh, you room with a different roommate every hotel. Um, I think Coach did a great job of having our class time, our basketball time, but then also giving us ample free time when we go out and do stuff together. So I think that more than more than the basketball itself, you know, helped in the bonding, uh, kind of the relationship side of the, of the, the trip. I really think Brussels. Um, we were kind of we were a block away from the Grand Place, which was uh, it was really cool. There was uh, just the architecture and the buildings and stuff that we saw were just unbelievable. Just you know things older than anything in the U.S. and it was just really uh, really cool to see that. Once in a lifetime experience. First off, I'd like to thank Liberty and Liberty Athletics for you know letting for allowing all of us this great opportunity to go on, but. I feel like I've experienced so much in just these past 10 days or so, how many ever it's been. We've been to Belgium, France, Switzerland, and it seems like we've seen 
tons of cathedrals. We saw one museum that was only parallel to the Louvre in France, which was pretty awesome. We saw some Picassos, uh, Monet's, Manet's, Dolly works. It's, it was really amazing. And and we also got to play some good basketball. Um, our the basketball really picked up in the latter part of the trip, which was which is kind of good for us and bad for us because I think we might have got a little complacent in the beginning. You know, with some of those easier wins, but um, it was definitely it was definitely a great you know bonding experience. It allowed you know the teammates to get closer without you know one guy being on Facebook, one guy texting all the time. So it was a great team experience that you can only experience when you're getting out of the country or going somewhere remote like that.